dear one percenters, is today really a happy Memorial Day for all U.S. military servicemen and women and veterans? I'm not so sure. Earlier today, I came across the following commemorative post by President Joe Biden, and it reads as follows. On Memorial Day, we honor the fallen heroes who served and sacrificed for our free and for our future. We must never forget the price that was paid to protect our democracy. I read this and something didn't quite sit well within my spirit. So I respectfully wrote a letter to our loving President Biden. And this is my humble response. Dear Mr. President, at Joe Biden, at POTUS, that I posted on X, formerly Twitter, respectfully, if this is true, how come so many of our treasured veterans are homeless, impoverished, having major PTSD, suicidal ideations, and the majority of our beloved veterans are still struggling to get proper peer support and mental health services after valiantly fighting America's senseless wars all around the world. Each American politician says and posts beautiful tributes to our beloved and valued service women and men, some of whom have paid the ultimate price with their precious life. While most of us selfish Americans and U.S. politicians will sit comfortably in our air-conditioned apartments, homes, or luxurious mansions enjoying a cookout, view, or gathering on Memorial Day with our loving family, Choosing to be oblivious to the fact and senseless wars all around the globe safe today than we were on yesterday, but feeds the bloated military industrial complex budget as innocent civilians are wounded and may or die, which only makes America more hated and often referred to as the great Satan. The great Satan, y'all. That's what they call us sometimes, some, in some places around the world. Thank God, thoughts and prayers, right, Mr. President? Like you, I am a practicing Roman Catholic, a woman of prayer and deep faith. I try to pray the Holy Rosary daily, along with a few Hail Marys to our Blessed Mother Mary, our sweet Jesus, Pray for holy priests, saints, and angels, but sometimes thoughts and prayers simply ain't sufficient enough, especially when it comes to our beloved U.S. veterans who need money to purchase a home, to live in a country they bravely fought for, and peer support and mental health services. So some of our beloved veterans can get the much needed help, care they so desperately need and deserve, and hopefully circumvent falling further into the depths of despair and killing themselves at a rate of 22 suicides daily, which in reality, I would humbly submit, this number is much higher as I recall it being 22 decades ago when I did my basic training the summer of my junior year of high school at Fort Jackson, South Carolina. So forgive me for being suspect of this manufactured numerical lie of 22. It's been 22 for decades, y'all. When dealing with some governmental officials, even at the VA, CIA, FBI, and compromised politicians, some compromised politicians 
who are trained to boldly lie and often to us wittingly and unwittingly U.S. citizens. Having made the aforementioned statement, Mr. President, personally, I believe most politicians are good and mean well, like you, kind sir, and some of the great presidents, politicians before you who sincerely serve we the people and whose reputation was and remains above reproach. Again, as a sinner saved by God's divine mercy and amazing grace who prays on the daily, I humbly submit to you on this sacred Memorial Day and significant election year that mere thoughts and prayers won't do when it comes to our gallant U.S. veterans and currently serving deployed U.S. servicemen and women who will hopefully one day return home to a grateful nation, their loving family, friends, employers, and still successful businesses. Dear Mr. President, are we our brothers and sisters keeper as the good book, the Holy Bible commands of us, or are we not? During this critical election year, 2024 and Holy Memorial Day, some things in our extraordinary yet broken and severely divided country simply has got to change, sir. Beginning with the unhealthy habits, patterns and beliefs residing in any politicians or U.S. citizens subconscious mind that our heroic veterans deserve less of a quality slash dignity of life when they return to U.S. soil after fighting in senseless wars than any of us non-military beautiful souls. We are America, Mr. President. Our subconscious mindset must always be monistic in nature, one of great unity because the things we want for ourselves, we should equally desire for our fellow precious brothers and sisters and beloved veterans. More life to all, less life to none, especially our courageous veterans. But who am I to speak on such a thing? I am just a Blackfoot Indian, Blackfoot, Black American that I am recovering from and currently working three jobs at that in hopes of creating a successful subconscious mind health coaching business to one day live the American dream and support my loving family, friends, and humanity when I can by God's grace. If you've made it this far, please remember to vote in this important upcoming election, especially if you truly care about our fearless veterans and one another, not just on this hollowed, Memorial Day, but every day going forward. After all, we are the people. We are stronger together than divided. So I humbly encourage you, your family, neighbors, and friends to utilize the power of your conscious mind and creative energy to develop a plan of how y'all are going to get to the polls this election year, election year 2024 on November 3rd, or vote October 26th through November 3rd if early voting is available at your election day polling place here in upstate New York. Side note, if you reside in Binghamton, New York, and you and your family, neighbors, or friends need a free ride to the polls during the 2024 general election, feel free to message me in a, in a week in advance, and I will give you a free ride. I will gladly take you to vote. Lastly, any registered voter in Broome County may apply for early mail ballot without the need to provide an excuse. Contact Broome County Board of Elections to apply online. Whatever you do, please vote. Dear Mr. President, thank you for attending my Twan Talk. May our loving God have mercy on us all in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless our noble, dear veterans and the United States of America and all sovereign nations within the universe. Peace be with you, Coach Twan.